Now, if you take a look off to the left-hand side of the train, you'll see a car up on blocks over at the railroad yard. That gives you some idea of what these coaches look like when they arrive to the Colbertdale Railroad. This coach restoration takes us about 18 months to two years. All the work is performed entirely by our volunteers. You can see the quality of the craftsmanship and the care and love that goes into each one of these historic railroad cars. The car up and blocks over to the left, built in 1914 by the Coleman Company, has a long distance luxury lounge car. The Titanic had been at the body of the sea just two years before that car had been serviced. had been serviced for 2018. Also off to our left, a brand new boarding platform built entirely with donated materials through the hard work of our volunteers. It is sitting in approximately the original location of the Boyertown Station. Part of our plan will be rebuilding that station. The boarding platform is the first step in a multi-phase plan to make the Cobrogale Railroad fully handicapped accessible. Ours is one of the oldest railroad rights of way in the entire world. Largely forgotten by time, the Colbert Dale was saved from abandonment by volunteers contributing tens of thousands of hours to make today's expedition possible. The progress you see in reviving the secret valley was part of our continuing commitment to make local business competitive in a global economy through offering freight and passenger service to our region. We hope we'll come back again as our stations are constructed, business is open service, and the Colbert Dale Railroad comes fully back to the you're probably noticed we've got two locomotives on our train today. Number 7236 is our own locomotive, a historic diesel locomotive that was recently just restored by our organization and dedicated last weekend. It's leading our train on our downhill trip, that is, our southbound trip. And our steam locomotive visiting us this weekend and next is on the north end of the train and will lead us on the uphill journey. Our train has now begun its steep descent into the Secret Valley. The gradient is nearly 3% in places, meaning our engineers work very hard to keep the train under control. While runaway trains have happened on the Colbertdale Railroad, we are not going to repeat them today. Good. On this portion of our trip, you'll notice a great deal of squeaking and squealing, rumbling and hissing at these coach floors. That's not the train crew, that's the sound of the brakes. The engineer works very hard to keep the train under control. Very steep brake sound. If you've watched the foliage passing by, we're wondering how we set the speed here on the Colbertdale, the oldest timetable we ever found, indicated the speed was somewhere around 35 miles an hour at the maximum speed. Today we do our level best to keep it somewhere under 80 miles an hour. Way under 80 miles an hour. We have to ask you to avoid the temptation, as they say, to jump out and run ahead of moving train. This simply infuriates the We're actually keeping the speed a little lower than normal here on the Overdale today because of the steam engine on the back end of the train. It's a swisher type locomotive bobbing and weaving down the track, so in order to keep the teeth inside the heads of the locomotive crew, we keep the car speed down the line. The one sacred pass of the one and odd day upon which our iron rails were laid before the poor corridor in the early start of the government center of colonial America. The magical wars unique in all the world were found in these lands, and this one of the mines underlying all of the community of Boyertown can be seen off to the right in a grassy pocket surrounded by a tight little fence. Our circuitous route through the deep shell.
as after all, it is you who make all this possible. That ticket you bought today not only got you a six mile ride 150 years back in time, but also was an investment in a better future for our region. How about a round of applause for each one of you for coming out to ride today? And how about a round of applause for all our volunteers who work, make all this happen? <laughs>